Hello. Uh, in this IB question, we will see the cru how the Kruskal's algorithm uh, works. Now, gen generally, the Kruskal's algorithm is to calculate the minimum spanning tree, but let's see it through a problem. Uh, it says a local government is planning to connect nine nearby mountain villages, A to I, to a new local airport O with roads as illustrated on the graph below. The number of uh, on the graph edges represent the distance in kilometers between the villages and the airport. So basically, I have the village C, which is five kilometers from A, and so on. Every village does not need to be connected directly. Very important. It's not be. Uh, it doesn't need to be connected directly. However, it must be possible to transfer to airport from any other village. This is uh, uh, an information which tell us basically to use to calculate the minimum spanning tree. Determine the most efficient way to connect the villages to the airport. So basically, I need to calculate the minimum spanning tree using here the Kruskal's algorithm. I can use also Prim's algorithm, but in this case we will see uh, Kruskal's algorithm. Mm -hmm. Now, how I do it? I start with the smallest edge, which is the smallest edge, OA, which is two kilometers. There is it. Then I'm trying to find if I have another uh, two uh, distance edge, uh, which connects other vertices. It, there is not uh, another two. So now I'll go to the next number, which is three in this case. Three, I have here AC. AC is three. Do I have another, another three? Yes. And this GI connects to other vertices, different vertices. GI again is three. Do I have another three? No. I go to next, which is four here. So AB is four. Next one, EG here. EG is four. Next, I don't have another one. Next one is 5. Do I have a 5? Yes, it's here a 5. DI. DI is 5. Another 5 I have here. Now, what's the limitation in Kruskal's algorithm? OC is 5, but you see I create a cycle here, which Kruskal's algorithm forbids that thing, so I cannot choose OC. OC, no. Of course, it's not obligatory to write down this information. Only if they ask us, show it. Next five, I don't have any other five, so I'll go to um, six. Do I have a six? Yes, I have a six. Where is it? D is six, but I cannot uh, use it because I will make a cycle. So the other one is B. B is six. I also have BF here, BF is 6, and now who's left? H's vertex. You see, what's the next number? 7. Can I take 7? EF? No, because I will make a cycle. What's the next? E H, which is 8. E H, which is 8. And that's for the question A. Now for the question B, it asks me, determine the total length of the of road the local government will need to build. So what do I do? I need just to add the, all the edges. Uh, something else about this, uh, the first question. Here now you can see the minimum spanning tree. You can see all the tree, how the tree is being built up. Now here, just we'll add them, which is 6, 10, 12, 16, 21, 27, plus 6, 33, plus 8, 41 kilometers. I never forget my units.